talk about magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that is found in our bodies. It's, a, it's involved in most of your body's functions. A very important mineral. It has over 3,000 receptor sites and it's involved in over 300 of the enzymatic processes that, that take place in our body. It helps with the, it's important for the musculoskeletal system. It's important for heart health. It's important for quality sleep, for healthy bowel movements. It is, it, it helps to turn glucose into energy. So it is involved in a lot of things that happen in our body. So the problem is that it's really hard to get enough magnesium from your diet. A couple of reasons for that is that it, sometimes it's hard to get, to get um, good sourced food. You're gonna find higher doses of magnesium in things like fish, your leafy green vegetables, nuts and seeds. You can even find a, a pretty good source of magnesium for if you're eating the, the skins on your potatoes. But just mentioning those things, you can see that it, sometimes it's difficult to get those in and to get them in on a regular basis. Uh, another problem with that too is that we, we all are aware that the quality of the food that we're getting in today's Western culture is just not as good as it used to be. There's a couple of reasons for that. Certainly there's lots of chemicals that are sprayed in our air today. We know that our soils have been depleted. And so when you're eating these foods that are supposedly good sources of vitamins and minerals, a lot of times you're just not getting what you think you're getting and your body has a harder time hanging on to or grabbing those all essential nutrients from the food that you eat. And so it's important to consider supplementing with these, these vitamins and minerals that are really, really important to our everyday functions. Chronic deficiency in magnesium is gonna show up in our body in several ways, but here's a few common ways that it shows up in our bodies or a lot of the symptoms, presenting symptoms that, um, that I see. Uh, in chronic inflammation, certainly. Hypertension, um, muscle cramps, painful periods, hard time sleeping. Um, but if you supplement with magnesium, you're gonna see an improvement in those symptoms in most cases. So it's gonna improve your quality of sleep. You're going to have um, more regular and consistent bowel movements. You're going to improve your immune system to help fight off uh, viral infections and things like that. It's going to be easier for you to manage your stress and cortisol levels, and it's going to help with muscle recovery post-exercise. So lots of reasons to supplement with magnesium. In my practice, I will recommend supplementing with magnesium when I have clients who come in with chronic constipation, painful or irregular periods, or if they're having trouble managing their stress and uh, poor sleep quality. Um, some of the things that I'd uh, recommend that you keep in mind is that it's best to not combine your magnesium with a multivitamin. Vitamin. So if you are taking a multivitamin that has magnesium, that's not gonna be your best source of magnesium because it's gonna compete with calcium for absorption. So you're really better off if you take your magnesium at a different time. Certainly you can still take your magnesium or your multivite, but you want to consider taking additional magnesium at, at a different time away from the time that you take your calcium. Magnesium can be paired with zinc and it's often a good idea to consider pairing those two together because zinc will boost the benefits of magnesium. It's given Magnesium is given in different forms so if you go down to your local pharmacy or drugstore you're going to see different forms of magnesium, things like magnesium citrate, magnesium oxide, and then magnesium glycinate. And the one that I recommend that you start with is the magnesium glycinate. It is more bioavailable, meaning that it is easier for your body to absorb. 
and it is gonna be a lot less uh, stressful on your stomach. So one of the most common side effects of magnesium is loose stools or diarrhea or um, stomach cramping. So your magnesium glycinate is gonna be the one that you want to start with. Um, let's see, it's always a good idea to take your magnesium in the evening, just because magnesium is a natural muscle relaxant. So you're gonna get that added benefit if you take it in the evening, it's gonna help you to have a more restful sleep. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people will have um, muscle cramps at night, they'll wake you up at, in the night. So that will also give you an added benefit of that as well to help you reduce any muscle cramps that you might be experiencing. And then start with your recommended daily dose. Look for a good quality magnesium. Um, you want to make sure that it is a good source, right? So definitely wants to be, you want it to be manufactured in the United States for those high, higher standards of manufacturing. And then make sure it doesn't have a lot of other um, added preservatives and things like that that your body doesn't, doesn't need. Just so just a good quality source of magnesium. And then start with the recommended daily dose. That's usually gonna be somewhere between 200 and 600 milligrams per day for an adult. And then you can work your way up to a higher dose if you're not seeing the benefits that you need. Um, personally, I do take a, a little bit more than that, but I didn't start out taking that much. So just start out with your daily dose and then you can gradually increase your dose if needed. Uh, and just monitor your body and see what's working for your body. The most likely side effect that you would have if you're taking too much would be an upset stomach or diarrhea. And so that's when that would be your clue that maybe you're taking a little bit too much magnesium and you need to back off. <clears throat> So thank you for watching this video and I hope that you find it helpful. And if you like the videos that we're putting out, please subscribe to our channel and share this information with anybody that you think would benefit. And as always, all the polite comments and questions are certainly welcome. And uh, I'd love to, to, to chat and hopefully answer any questions that you might have. We'll talk soon.